All right, Libra, let's do your message. Um, I'm actually skipping Virgo's message right now. I'm going straight into doing your message because it felt, well, it felt a little stronger. So I think there's something to that. Some of you could be dealing with a Virgo. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe you're on the cusp. Could be a Virgo watching this. Could be dealing with the Libra. Either way, this could always be reversed. And um, um, it may not resonate for everybody here, but what I think is going on with you guys is, okay, because I saw the Joker. I saw the Joker as I was starting your video a little bit before. I was sitting here with your energy and I, I saw the fucking Joker and I saw the Joker go, why so serious? And what I felt was legit why so serious. Like, I feel like you're just kind of, for whoever this message is for, it feels like you're just chilling, man. Like, you're just chilling. You're just having fun. You're not so heavily involved in something, nor do you want to be. I feel like I'm hearing Nordic. Nordic? Something to do with Nordic? Or Norway? Or even something to do with, like, Vikings here. Anyway, that's for somebody watching. Yeah, so whoever I'm picking up on, you are really focused in specific areas of your life, whether it's on children, uh, your health. Like, even I see a gem here. I see somebody who's, like, their health, their career, entrepreneur, um, family, money. I definitely see somebody focused on their money. And I want to say anything like, somebody's not trying to be all serious here in a relationship. Why so serious? Why, why we got to take it there? Like, even somebody may get out, been out of shape because you are not, um, I don't know, like they're wanting more from you or they're ready to take something to the next level or they want to know how you feel. They're, they're coming from an emotional place and you may be kind of like just chilling. Like, you know, if you have a friends with benefits type thing, it is what it is. Like you may need to clarify. You may need to sit down with somebody and clarify how you really feel. You may not be wanting to do this because you know that this person may not handle it well. Maybe they're already kind of not handling it well, but, um, I don't know. I feel like someone here is, they're not on the same page as you. They're, they're wanting something different than you're wanting. And maybe you didn't even give any vibes that you wanted anything more. Maybe you're just like being you. Like if you, maybe you talk to everybody like that. Maybe you're not being a player or nothing like that. You're just nice to everybody. And so somebody's reading into that and they're thinking, oh, I thought you really like, you know, Maybe you call everyone babe or honey or hun or sweetie or beautiful or you compliment everyone and, and somebody's taking it really to heart. Now, if you're sleeping with somebody, that's different, you know, if you're sleeping with somebody, going on dates with somebody, you know, cuddling them every now and then you may just want to clarify. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying you may want to clarify with someone like, hey, uh, whatever you feel, like maybe you have feelings for someone, but you're not trying to be in a relationship. Maybe you want to be in a relationship, but you're not trying to marry them. Maybe you are in a relationship with someone but you don't want children. Like whatever it is, you know, you need to clarify. Now, I'm gonna use an example. So that some popping in my head. Of course, this doesn't have to be anybody's story, but um, I actually have a friend who is polyamorous and he's married. And so I know that they, they're together, right? Like, I don't know how that works, but for them, supposedly it works. So that's their story. I'm just giving it as an example. But I also know that sometimes they have girlfriends. What if like a girlfriend falls in love and is like, well, I thought maybe we can get married. Some people are cool with that. Um, I know it's not really legal. But some people want more, right? This person may be like, mm, I'm not really, you know, like we love you and you, we were loyal to you and faithful to you, but I'm still just like, I got my wife. You know, I don't know. That's an awful example. I guess not. It's not an awful example. That's a legitimate example. People go through that. So you would need to like clarify. Like someone here needs to sit someone down and be like, hey, listen, you know, or maybe someone's wanting you to message them back more or tell them more personal information about you. And you may have just been like on a, well, I'm just getting to know you. Like we're just having fun. We're just kicking it. We're just talking to each other. We're just flirting like why does it got to be so heavy someone's looking for a life partner looking to get married looking to settle down looking to have babies looking to be like exclusive looking to be like oh we're all this hold hands in public and you may be like whoa lassie whoa lassie <laughs> whoa lassie and i don't say i don't say either person's wrong here i just feel like communication is going to be key because one person here I mean, the thing is you probably will get a bad rap for it 
You know what I mean? You probably will. Um, now, unless somebody here is using someone, that's different. I'm not talking about anyone here who's using someone. But if you aren't and you haven't been and it's just kind of been like someone just fell for you really quickly or want something that you don't or thought that just because you talk a certain way or you, you know, you hold a space for them that that must mean that you're in love with them or that there's, you're their twin flame or soulmate and you're just like, whoa, whoa. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't think some of you really return the feelings. It doesn't mean you're not cool with somebody. It doesn't mean you're not attracted to someone. It doesn't mean you don't think that they're beautiful or handsome. It's just that I think they want something more than what you want. This could even be an ex. Some of y'all could still be like kind of, you know, I don't know, talking to an ex or whatever, but like you don't feel for them like that anymore, you know, or maybe it's like a fuck buddy, but that's all it is to you. It's just a fuck buddy. That's about as far as your buddy goes. Oh, shit. Come on, Eminem. I'm hearing Eminem now. And Eminem is a Libra. But there's a song. <laughs> he ain't got no shame in his game. There's a song where it goes, We'll be friends. I'll call you again. I'll chase you around. Maybe. Okay. Never know what kind of car I'll be in. We'll see how much you be partying then. You don't want that. Neither do I. I don't want to flip when I see you with guys. Too much pride. Between you and I. I'm not a jealous man, but females lie. But I guess that's just what sluts do. How could it ever be just us two? I never loved you enough to trust you. We just met and I just fucked you. But I do know one thing, though. Superman. Oh my God, come on now, listen. Don't get mad. That's not my song. That's Eminem's and he's a Libra. So, ooh, ooh, yeah. I don't know. Maybe someone here, if this is past tense, someone here was actually, could have, could have actually been using someone. I hope that's not the case. I don't promote that. But I, it, it's possible someone here did use somebody for sex or strung someone along and then in the end tried to make them like they didn't even care about them. Now that's a fucked up person. Someone could have done that to you. <sighs> Vice versa, that's a fucked up person right there. And then maybe, maybe that did happen and then someone realizes later, oh shit, why so serious? Like maybe the tables turn and someone realizes, oh shit, I actually did love her or I loved him. Like, you know, maybe someone wasn't taking someone serious before. It was like, yeah, we'll get married, but knew they never would. Or, uh, yeah, I'll get sober, but knew they never would. Or, no, I'm not cheating, but they knew they were the whole time. Like, something, you know what I mean? Um, kept somebody here, like, dangling by a thread, dangling a carrot over somebody just to keep them interested, keep them in love. Someone enjoyed being chased, enjoyed being, like, uh, spawned? Spawned enjoyed being swooned over or whatever you know now if that's the case somebody may be realizing now oh, shit I, I lost a good one like I do love her I do love him but you may now be like why so serious you know you may be feeling like that if anyone tries to love you now you may be like too late that doesn't mean that you didn't actually love someone you could have very much loved someone which means if you loved him it's not gonna go nowhere but that doesn't mean you want to get back with someone okay I'm leaving that alone anyway some of you know it could be a current thing where I think someone could be quite serious and or getting serious or just like, you know, sp I'm sprung. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> <To get me. laughs> Got me doing things I never do. It's like, oh my God, I'm starting to have feelings. I'm starting to fall in love with him. I'm starting to fall in love with her. Oh, that sucks either way. It's awful for both people, really, especially if someone's not using someone here. It's that's sad. That's sad for both people because one person's wanting this and then eventually hopefully they don't get mad and say, you know what, you just never cared or you just didn't see my value. And it's like, just because somebody doesn't want you the same does not mean they don't see your fucking value. I've been on both both ends of that. It, it doesn't mean that, that they don't see your value. Sometimes it's just they don't want a fucking marriage. They don't want sex. They don't want a relationship. They don't want to have to talk to somebody 24-7. They don't want someone to get mad at them because they don't answer. You know what I mean? Like you're doing your own thing. You're trying to focus on your own life, your business. Your business is your baby. Your business is your bitch. You got 99 problems and, a, and an actual person ain't one. Unless it's a customer, a client, or something to do with work. You know what I mean? Like a relationship is the last thing on your damn mind. Now this could be entirely reversed. But I get that. Like I totally get that. There's nothing wrong with that unless somebody's stringing someone along. Again, that, that's something wrong with that. My nose is itching. But anyway, I, here. Let's just, before we get into the song, I think that we need to sit down and have a conversation. Superman Eminem <laughs> that's a really rough song too it's mean it's mean you know it is mean yes it is Eminem yes it is and he don't give a damn <laughs> he don't give a damn you know it's like uh, 
Someone may get upset because you're like not been out of shape about something. It could be somebody who at once wasn't been out of shape about something regarding you and now they're wondering why you're not been out of shape and it's like, wait, what? You pushed me away. You sabotaged this with me. Like, mm mm. Anyway, okay. <sighs> Cause I know you want me, baby. I think I want you too. I think I love you, baby. Yeah, I think I love you too. I'm here to save you, girl. Come be in Shady's world. I want to grow together. It's like love bombing. Oh no. Let's let our love unfurl. <laughs> you know you want me, baby. <laughs> you know I want you too. They call me Superman. I'm here to rescue you. I want to save you, girl. Come be in Shady's world. Oh boy, you drive me crazy. Bitch, you make me hurl. It's like somebody's done turned it. Someone's turning the tables or will in the future. It's like as soon as they catch it, it's like catch and release. Oh shit. I hope someone didn't fall for a player here. We could have been in the past. Somebody fell for a player. Listen, we've all been on every single side of this, you know, but maybe the player ended up falling back in love and it's like, oh, wait, me? You want me? I thought you didn't want me. I thought you didn't. I thought that I'm just some kind of blah, blah, blah. Like what? I don't know here. Now, some of you could have somebody right now and you could have just been having fun with her, having fun with him, whatever. And you thought they were doing the same thing, but they went and slipped in a bunch of, I don't know, pile of feelings. And now they're in love. <laughs> You know, they're like shipping y'all's names together, man or woman, you know, and you just may be like, oh, shit. You know, meanwhile, you may actually really want someone else. You got someone else on the mind, but they're just like you. They're independent. They don't want a relationship either. You know, meanwhile, somebody's been, somebody could have had a passer timer. That's awful. But I'm getting it here. Somebody may have had a passer timer. Pass by the timer. You know, it's like a space holder for, or a placeholder for the meantime. Oh, that's not good. And that person fell in love. See, this is why you should just, this is why single is good. And I mean single, like some people say, you got to ask people, just because people say single, does that mean they're not getting fucked? Because parked cars still get hit too, right? You have to make sure that when somebody says they're single, that means they're single. What do you mean? You mean you, you don't have anyone that thinks you're their girlfriend, right? Or anyone that thinks you're their boyfriend. You, you haven't just recently... Uh, like I can't still smell a woman on your penis, right? I can't still see uh, Monday's semen dripping out of you like that. You know what I mean? I'm trying to I'm trying to be like a little bit vulgar here, but I mean, I'm just being honest like When you say single what does single mean to you? Does single mean like you don't have people thinking that y'all are something y'all are not right? You're not still legally married, but just not living together, right? Like you're not telling somebody you love them still calling them baby You don't have somebody on the sideline waiting because you know, they're just waiting until you're ready like, what is it? What do you mean by, by this? <sighs> Let me keep going. <sighs> oh. Oh, no. He's so rough. He, his lyrics are... Well, you can read it. I don't know if I should. This is awful. I'm single now. Got no ring on this finger now. I'd never let another bitch bring me down. See, someone here could also be really bitter. Like, <laughs> oh, no. No, I've been there. I've been both. I've, I've been on both. I've been on the receiving end and the giving end of that. It's awful. It's awful in every way. See, some, some, it's just, all it is is as simple as someone just needs to let someone know, hey, you know, we're just friends, right? Or, you know, we're just fucking right? Like, or whatever, whatever is happening before it gets way too deep. I feel like this, if this was past tense, somebody should have done that because they let someone on on purpose and that's fucked up. And then they may have ended up falling for the person later on or what they did to another ended up happening to them. Ooh, ooh, uh-oh. But, but what I'm getting from this song is someone here is bitter. They've been really done wrong by somebody and it's almost like the, the cheated on becomes the cheater or the one who was once hurt is the, now the hurter, the one who hurts people. The one who's like, no, I don't, I don't get close. I don't do the feelings thing. I don't do the marriage thing, which now some, that doesn't mean they're bitter. Some people, it's called, I've learned my lesson. Like, I've done the whole thing. Once I've done it, you think, like, once I graduate a class, I'm going to look back and be like, damn. You know, I think, I think I'd like to take that class again. Hell no, I'm done with it. I don't need to get married again. I don't even need to be in a relationship again. I mean, that's cool for some people, and that's their story. But I don't believe that everybody came to the earth to do the same thing. Like, I don't believe we all came here and we have a fucking person. Like, I just don't believe that. Like, where, who started that? You know, I once believed it. And now I don't anymore, right? So it could be that. It could be someone here who's like, 
It could be that simple, not necessarily someone's bitter or cynical or doesn't believe in love. Someone may very well believe in love, but they don't believe that you have to trap what you love. They don't believe that you have to marry what you love or that you even have to have sex with it or that you have to live with it or that, you know what I mean? Some people here, and actually the world's changing a little. There are people these days who are like, we can be together and, you know, be considered a thing, but like, you don't stay the night with me. Or we live together, but we don't share a room. My space is my space, bitch. Or I got my own bathroom, like, mm-mm. Mm -mm. like people got rules and stuff these days people are different the world's changing anyways so uh yeah let's just get back into the song here okay straight from the hit hip cut to the chase i'll tell a motherfucking slut to her face <laughs> play no games S say no names ever since i broke up with what's her face i'm a different man kiss my ass kiss my lips bitch why ask oh god He's like, I don't feel anything. I don't care. Listen, also, could this be a front? Someone here is still in love with an ex of theirs. Because for him to be this bitter, let's be honest, though. Somebody here, they, they're they acting like they didn't get hurt by someone. They're acting like, oh, it didn't bother them when it ended. They didn't really care. I don't care. I just fuck hoes now and men, and I don't give a damn. It's like, I don't give a shit. And it's like, bullshit. I call motherfucking bullshit. Because for somebody to be this aggressive, I know I'm an Aries. I'm born from aggression and war. You gotta have something in there. Cause when I don't give a fuck, I don't actually give a fuck. I'm not gonna write a whole ass song about it. Like, you know what I mean? I don't, when I don't give a fuck, I don't give a fuck. Now that may be hard to hear for Mr. Eminem here, but like, I love him. I love Eminem, but like, come on. Let's be honest here. Nobody's gonna get this bent out of shape if she didn't cut you a little and twist the fucking knife. So someone here, it's it's it may be a front. They may be acting like they don't care anymore and something doesn't bother them or didn't bother them, but it did though. And not only did, it still does. And they may not, they may be like, yeah, look at all the bitches I'm fucking seeing. See how much I don't care? See how much I'm not writing you? See, do you see how you haven't heard from me? You see that? You know why? Cause I could give a fuck less. Why are you so serious? And it's like serious. You seem to be the one serious and been out of shape, sir. You're the one writing songs about it. You're the one making fake accounts about me and about it. You're the one pretending to be me. You're the one acting like this, this, and that. You're the one trying to take our old sex videos and put them all over the internet. Like, what are you trying to do? You know what I mean? I feel like you're the one been out of shape about it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, really though? Cause, cause how it's coming off is kind of like you are bothered though. You know? So someone here is like, they're still angry. Meanwhile, they got someone innocent, I believe, this could also be going on, who is falling in love with them, like an innocent woman, an innocent man, but who's really getting feelings for them, and this person's still just bitter about their ex, because they, to be honest, they probably can't admit that they did wrong, they probably lost the girl, and they, or the guy, whoever, and uh, they're mad at her for it, ending, okay, whatever, I'm over it, you guys gotta look up the lyrics to this, oh. I don't know, I I feel like if this resonated at all, because it, it's going to go different ways here, I feel like uh, I, w I would retract, retract your feelings and kind of pull back from somebody during this time just because uh, they could be going through this. Now, some of you, you're this person's ex and they, you think they don't care, but they do, they do though they do and and quite honestly they wish they could go back in time they wish they could go back in time now let's say you're not their ex let's say um they just really liked you and had a crush on you but you don't come around no more and this person would be like you know what fuck you i didn't like you anyway I, you know i can get any bitch i want i can get any man i want you know i never liked her i never liked him whoever you are right they could just be like proud but it, deep down they actually did want you and not did as in past tense but like do like actually do currently still want you um they actually are kind of maybe even butthurt because they may feel like they didn't have enough for you they weren't good enough for you they didn't have enough money or maybe they lived with their family at the time and you may not even give a shit about any of that like maybe none of that even mattered to you you were just focused on your own life and they took it as a personal offense like oh well you just don't like me you know and you're just like I just not trying to be serious you know but it's almost like what they did to other people you ended up doing to them but not because you were playing games just because you're focused on your own life <sighs> wow all right, guys. Damn. <laughs> oh, I love you so much. Thank you for being here. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Bye.